Hey there, welcome to Work in Progress. My name is Rowan. I'm a writer at Presentation Studio. I'm joined by Jacob Granger. He's a designer at Presentation Studio. And we're here to talk to you about the things that we're kind of working on, things that we're interested in. We're going to be doing that from a content and a design perspective. Um, so Jacob, what have you been working on? This week, I have been looking into architecture uh, and I thought I'd sort of go deeper into one of my favorite architects, which is Frank Lloyd Wright. Sweet. And what kind of made you decide to think about that? Earlier in the week, I saw on Twitter a hashtag uh, millennial retirement plans huh. that blew up. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. What was, what was that about? Our generation sort of venting their frustrations around their inability to access a more asset driven market or an increasingly asset driven market. Right. So like, like they can't buy a house? So I thought from an abstract perspective to look into architecture um, that Frank Lloyd Wright might be able to give us sort of uh, an alternative perspective to problem solving on the issue. Frank Lloyd Wright from the 1920s and 30s was an architect who in a 70 year career designed these sort of temple-like palatial buildings for, you know, quite aristocratic clients. And then towards the later end of his life, decided that he was going to uh, design low-cost modular houses for the middle class. And the way that he did that was through functional use of space, materials, and a focus on the sovereignty of the individual. He tied his way of building homes into uh, the constitution about the freedom and the rights of that person also making sure that someone's living scenario was totally appropriate to how they wanted to live because he believed that the way that we live uh, helped to form our habits and helped to actually form the, the who we are as people so he, he was able to i think at the end of his career uh, use experience from things like that to really help fuel um, his work for average, you know, working class people. One thing that comes back with Frank Lloyd Wright is how to do more with less mm -hmm. overall. The guy uh, wanted you to sort of only live in the space or use the space as much as you needed to and then the rest of your life should be out exploring and in the same sense if you take that into a content perspective what's your key purpose in your message you know and sure. the focus should be on who's delivering that uh, um, and everything else should be removed so Ron uh, what have you been working on um, I have been working on